What is an itch? Itches only occur in the top two layers of your skin. You cannot have an itch in your muscles, bones, or brain. However, the typical human being is covered in about two square meters of skin, so it's only natural that it requires regular scratching. Although constantly scratching your head or your armpits is often taken as a sign of stupidity, the system by which each information is processed is actually a very clever one. It starts with the release of histamine by cells around the affected area. This sends a signal to the brain that the itch is there. And it's why we take antihistamine to break the itch scratch cycle that occurs when, for example, you fall off a bicycle and drag your knee along the ground. In your brain, the signal makes its way to the cerebral cortex, which is where we have conscious thoughts. You now know the itch is there. You scratch it, that breaks down the signal, and the itch goes away. Job done. You can even do this in your sleep. But why do we itch in the first place? Most normal itching is pruritoceptive. It is the body's natural response to external and possibly dangerous stimuli. So, a mosquito landing on you, something you're allergic to, or a very scratchy label in your underpants. You feel the scratchiness at the base of your spine, you itch it vigorously before it drives you completely mental. Neuropathic itching results from damage to the nervous system. Neurogenic itching stems from chemical imbalances in the body, sometimes natural ones, for example, following a liver malfunction, or as the result of taking drugs. Psychogenic itching is caused by psychiatric disorders. Depression can cause itchiness. Emotion can also cause an itch, hence that prickling of the scalp when you listen to girls aloud. Itching is related to pain in that it shares the same neural network, but causes a different response. You recoil from something hot, but you scratch an itch. Weirdly, though, pain helps relieve itching, which is why you will scratch an insect bite until it hurts like hell. But at least it isn't itching anymore. The need to itch can also be overcome by thinking about something else. Astronauts in spacesuits, deep sea divers in old fashioned helmets, and people who have to lie very still in body scanners all have to master this. Like yawning, scratching an itch can be contagious. If one person in a room starts doing it, chances are everybody else will. And how many times have you scratched yourself watching this? Well, this is all about itching, and if you have an itch to subscribe, which I'm sure you do, then you can do it by placing your finger and scratching here, or here. At this point, I don't actually know where it is, but somewhere on here, there maybe.